Welcome back to Rodcast, guys. Hope you're all doing well out there. I'm your host, Rod. I am not doing so well, and that's one of the reasons I'm making this video. As you guys can tell from the title, this is going to be different from my regular videos where I break down a specific legal case. This does have to do with the law, obviously, because we're talking about traitor Trump. But nevertheless, this is going to be a rant more than it is an objective coverage of a legal case. Although there are, there are going to be legal facts smuttered throughout this video while I rant against CNN's decision to legitimize this traitor and criminal who's already been indicted and likely will be federally indicted in the coming year by Jack Smith's uh, investigation of the DOJ and has just been found liable for sexual abuse and defamation of E. Jean Carroll. They could not wait. CNN could not wait to jump on the ratings. They chose money over America just like they did back in 2015 and 2016 when they played hour-long videos of Donald Trump's speeches, okay, which helped him get his name out there and eventually get elected. So they're doing the exact same thing. It's even worse now because now he's a criminal and a traitor, according to anybody who knows the law and cares, uh, to actually find out what he actually did on January 6th. Okay, most of his sub supporters who support him, they don't care. Okay, they've decided, I just hate the Democrats and the liberals and I'll side with anybody, no matter what his baggage is. Okay, so the MAGA people are gone. The people who still support Trump, they don't care about America. They don't care about the law. They don't care about democracy. Nothing matters to them other than owning the libs. That's their whole life. So th those people are gone. We can't help them. Hopefully they find themselves out of that hole of political, uh, you know, brainwash rabbit holes that they live in. But we can't help them. And the equivalent exists on the left as well. People who don't care about the law at all, who just want, you know, to be Trump. I'm not on any of those camps. I do care about the law. And if anybody breaks it from the left or the right, I'm going to call them out as I do on my show every day. They could not wait because after about two, three days before this town hall with Caitlin Collins, who I do like, by the way, I don't blame her. I blame the person. This whole video is a rant against the person who actually made the decision to invite that fat piece of trash traitor into that uh, that uh, studio and talk to him as if he was a legitimate candidate. You couldn't get Haley, Nikki Haley on the phone. You couldn't get Ron DeSantis or uh, Chris Christie or any of the other jackasses who are going to run in 2024. You couldn't find anybody else. You had to find this guy, a guy who's a criminal, a bona fide criminal, okay, has been indicted by the DA in New York and will be indicted by the Justice Department coming soon. Two federal judges have already said that he, him and John Eastman committed crimes, okay? I'll link that video over here. I talked about it. Uh, the last judge said that he broke two federal laws specifically, 1512, 18 U.S. Code 1512, 18 U.S. Code 371. 371 is defrauding the U.S., that's a fake elector scam, and 1512 trying to obstruct an official proceeding, that's for January 6th. Obstruct an official proceeding, excuse me. My heart is beating and, uh, um more passionate about this than I thought I was. I was pissed off about this since I found out. I couldn't believe that CNN was actually doing this. What? Three days or two days after he was just found liable for sexual abuse and defamation. They're like, oh, this is a great idea. This guy's been kicked off of Twitter and taken off of all legitimate platforms. And so we have an opportunity here to legitimize him to the entire world. Because if you're on CNN, it's going to look like you're just another candidate for 2024. What do you mean? T Donald Trump is a normal guy. It's not like he tried to destroy the democratic process on January 6, 2021. No, that didn't happen at all. Because the executives or whoever, the person that decided to have this town hall and uh, treat him like a normal, non-criminal, non-treasonous person, just a regular candidate, it's the worst decision they've ever made in their life. CNN is a, whoever did that at CNN is a piece of crap, okay, who's choosing money and ratings over America putting our democracy in danger by legitimizing this guy, okay? I'm sure there are some people who are not going to agree with this and CNN's going to try to defend themselves. There is no defense. You guys suck. You're choosing money over America and democracy and you make me sick. Okay, that's basically what I wanted to say in this rant. And hopefully this video picks up because I'm sure there are a lot of people out there who uh, will want them to choose America over money and uh, are sickened by this town hall as well. Or maybe not. I don't know. I haven't seen that much backlash publicly against CNN, so I don't really care. I'm going to tell you guys what I think, as always. I was contemplating whether I wanted to make this video or not because it does scratch up really closely to politics, but there is a legal element involved here as well, so I figured I'd talk about it. Uh, let me know what you guys think, if you guys agree with my perspective, or you guys think it's great that CNN put on this town hall. I don't care about the fact that he looks worse. Uh, if you think he looks worse after this, that's not the point. The point is them putting them on this mainstream platform makes him look like just another candidate, that he's not a traitor to, against America who tried to overthrow the democratic system and still on this very stage 
lied about the 2020 election and pretended he won, as well as saying many other disgusting things. But it doesn't matter. Just you giving him that platform to sit his fat ass on that stage with a with a somewhat known actor, Caitlin Collins, she's an up and comer over there at CNN. And I don't blame her, by the way. I blame the p people who made her do that. I don't think it was her decision. But Putting him on there is saying that he is a legitimate person and not a criminal who belongs in prison, or in my opinion, a gas chamber. That's where he belongs. He's a traitor. Uh, the, the sentence for treason is death, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, but nevertheless, instead of doing that, instead of recognizing what he is, they treated him like just another guy running for president in 2024. And they make me sick. And that's the bottom line for this video. That's all I wanted to say. I'll see you guys in my next video, which I promise will be much more constructive than this one. Thanks for watching this video all the way to the end. If you want to see more of my videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to keep current with the videos that I'm making. And if you have been watching for a long time and appreciate my content and the time that I put into these videos, please consider supporting me on Patreon. I post all the legal documents I use in my videos on Patreon for my patrons. I also post extra legal content when I don't have time to make videos on Patreon for my patrons. As a patron, you can also contact me directly on Patreon to request a video or ask a question about a relevant topic. These are all privileges that I provide for my patron supporters. With all that being said, I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a very nice day.